This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Yes. The armor was produced by Fairweather in their facilities in Betancourt, sur la clé in 42. It was part of a special order for Corps de Pharmacy, a security firm contracted to protect the interests of Iranian pharmaceutical companies in the Seminine conflict. So, it seems the armor went to Seminine. That's where the paper trail ends, though. Even the firm has proven difficult to track. Corps de Pharmacy has been renamed several times over in the years since the armor was issued. Yes! That is the most recent name the ICP has been able to connect to the CDP. And the one before it was Downwell. I also have one called Sediment, but I think that might be a different contractor. No, they were called Sediment. And Somatosensor, it seems. All that during the last nine years. A suit of armor like this would have been manufactured with a particular person's physique in mind. You should ask for whom this suit was fitted. Yes, but the ICP tends to be reluctant to their private sector records. I could try to talk them into it, though. This is a fun challenge for her. An opportunity to contribute beyond doing her job by rote. She'll gladly put in the extra effort for Team RCM. Glad to help. Call back tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have more for you then. 57, over and out. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Yes. It took some convincing, but I got the mercenary's name and a few biographical details. Are you ready? The lieutenant leans in to listen, notebook in hand. That suit of armor was issued to an Orani citizen named Elis Cortenaer. That's E-L-L-I-S-K-O-R-T-E-N-A-I-R. Exact date of birth, unknown. He was signed into the Lelystad County Neonatal Care Unit on 28th of February, 09. He was found as a newborn in a leaf compactor near an abandoned farm. He spent four months in the neonatal unit, survived apparently, and was assigned to a foster family at two. According to Clausia, Lele said his real name wasn't really his. Perhaps that's because he was fostered. This is what the ICP knows about him. He was raised by foster parents, entered the East Brand Military Academy in Vredefort at 17, then served in the Oranese forces till he was honorably discharged in 41, just a year before the Seminese conflict. Then the armor followed him to Seminine, or at least I assume it did. And that's it. There are no records of his employment in Crenel, or any of its other incarnations, or him even entering Ravachon. It's a garden tool used to press leaves into these cubes. It's a detail the hospital had, the only detail in these files. So I thought it would be good for you to know. It is. Thank you, Alice. None, officer. Sorry. Even that is a small miracle. These organizations usually double-check their inventory. Thank you, Alice. Great work. No problem, Lieutenant. A compliment from Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Not bad. A name. This is very good. Elise Cortenard. This means something to him, to know that name, like name in a case. It's important. Sometimes police work is about human dignity, about giving back names to anonymous victims. I'm glad the inquiry was helpful to your investigation, officer. Did you have any other questions? 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge.
Went native on the chief, huh? Those ballerina antics were reckless. Should have just punched him in the throat again. Wrong. You did the right thing with Measure Him. The ballerina antics won you the fight. Let's talk about our right to work. Hell no. I'm just an honest scab. I won't have talk like that around here. You understand? His neck muscles tense up. The veins on his neck bulge. It just has to be said, that was not a convincing line. Bucking loin cloth. Loin cloth? Now you see, that's not really what a scab would say, is it? Better not to press the issue further, sire. He seems tense. Fuck it, Bob. A punch is not imminent, but it's being cocked hard. You hear a tiny rattle. A small radio, cracking somewhere, an earpiece. I'm going to interpret that as a yes. There's a tribunal, and it won't be long until it's ready. How about you fuck off now, huh? Okay, of course. There could be weapons aiming at us right now, somewhere above, in the buildings, the other Merc. Don't push this, he's thinking. This is not the time. The man's breathing steadies, but his eyes are still narrow. Slowly, he's trying to get his right-to-work dance back on. It's hard to do that when you want to beat a man into a pulp instead. Don't think so. Suddenly, this feels like a really, really bad idea. Wordless, he takes the photo and looks at it. Grey eyes dart back and forth on the glossy surface. His face is unmoving. Hard as a stone, but beneath it. You see dead flesh in colorful rivers of polychrome, melting skin and hair. Fucking loincloths really did him in. What it means. In what must have been Semini. I can tell you what this one means. Only one. You want to hear what happened here? Our colonel is deep in the bush here. Deep in the fucking bush. In Benital. 41. Monsoon season. He's on a reconnaissance mission. Benital is one of the inhabited islands of the Seminese archipelago near the Pale. Covered in jungle, it was anchor point for the Seminese nationalists in the proxy war held on the islander's territory. He spent a month behind enemy lines, scouting kipped villages. Nothing but fucking bugs and snakes for fun. Men are getting restless. There's talk of switching employers. with some strange emotion. This is about to get really graphic. Last moment to back off. Our boy, he's only a captain then, but he knows how these men think. If they don't see action soon. At dawn, he comes upon two kips, breeding in the bushes by the river. Or maybe they weren't breeding. Maybe 
They were just making eyes at each other. I like to think they were breeding. We shot the boy. He was useless, but the girl, she was nice. A little fat, you know, but not too old. She was quite the entertainment for the week she lasted, expired in the hands of Sarge Mason, the kind of guy who'd make Chief there shit his pants and cry like a bitch. God. <laughs> Mason couldn't let go. Cut the tits off her cold body and fucking ate them. <laughs> Said primitive spirits were watching over him now. Drowned in a creek a week later. Spirits, my ass. Something stirs in your stomach. The story must have stirred up some conflicting emotions. The man looks tired for a second. There's a word on the tip of your tongue. Colorless. Odorless. It's... You bet it was. It's just... nature. This guy, he used to say evil is when nature and spirit meet in the wrong place. No. I was in the Domain. In Jamrock. Being a bouncer. Fucking mask is getting sweaty. I want to take my mask off. But... He's under orders. And orders are orders. Nah. You've earned it. All right now! Free commerce! Keep the goods flowing! On the photo in your hands, the dead man's skin is studded with stars. Tens, hundreds of them, littering his dead skin. 